Hey everyone, Chris Lewis from Fox 47's Digital Newsroom. Excited to have you here today. We're gonna to be talking about the Ingham County Fair today. And for those of you that have been to the Ingham County Fair, you know it's a great event and it's one that we always look forward to every year. And like many events and many businesses, people are having to make some pivots. And today we're talking a little bit about that with Lindsay McKeever. She is the, the Ingham County Fairgrounds events manager and she's gonna be talking to us about some of the changes that are coming with the fair this year. Lindsay, thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. Now, like I said, I know that a lot of events, a lot of businesses, they're having to make pivots, they're having to make changes for the safety and security of not only the people that come to the event, but also the people that are um, the people that are working the event too. So tell me about some of the changes that are coming to the fair this year. Thank you. So we are looking forward to still going on as scheduled August 3rd through the 8th. Um, the biggest pivot that we're making this year is the uh, with the suspension of 4-H operations for in-person events. So we are really proud that the Ingham County Fair Foundation has stepped up to take, take on that role. And we are excited to offer our 4-H youth an opportunity to still show their livestock, still show their still life. And we've also opened it up to Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, FFA, other, um, any youth in any Ingham County youth organization will be able to participate in these shows. So it's a little bit um, less restrictive as it might've been last year. And we are really proud to be able to continue this tradition for those kids. Now, when you say that the in-person piece has been postponed um, or canceled in that way. Is it that the, the opportunity for the students will end up being online? Everything that was originally planned to be 4-H as, as youth shows um, under the name uh, Ingham County Fair Foundation Youth Show. So we'll still be able to do that, which we're really proud of. For people that are interested in being able to attend the, the fair this year, where can they get more information? Everyone can check out our website and our Facebook page. The tickets will be going on sale on the website, um, hopefully soon. And um, we look forward to being, being able to provide a sense of normalcy or a return to um, those traditional summer, summer events. We're really looking forward to that. Mm -hmm.